got another tip of the day for you. Accept things as they are. Don't fight against things. Because when you fight against things, that takes you out of a state of gratitude. When you accept things as they are, you put yourself in a state of gratitude. You put yourself in a state of being grateful for what is. Being grateful for what is, is an important state to be in. So you have to, you have to understand and be willing to accept things as they are, no matter how seemingly bad they may be. Things happen for a reason. Nothing just happens by chance. So you have to be willing to accept things as they are. Now, I don't have very long this morning, and so I jotted down a few things. I wanted to get right to the point because I, I got some information I would like to, to share with you, some thoughts that I would like to share with you. So I'm going to be looking down every now and then, but here's the point. The point is, accept things as they are. Here's what I'm talking about overall. I'm talking about how to live a happy life. I'm talking about how to live happily ever after. I'm talking about how to be happy unconditionally regardless of what may be going on in your life right and so you have to find a way to put yourself in that state of gratitude that's the place to start at because how you feel determines everything so when you are able to be grateful for what is versus fighting against what is it's like taking the brakes off it's like releasing resistance you know energy goes wherever your attention flows and when you're not loving what is, that means your attention is on what you don't have. And as you continue to fake to put your attention on what you don't have, that continues, that causes you to continue to have just that. And when you let go of that, when you let go of the resistance and the negativity attached to what is and what you may be going, what may be going on and what you may be going through, it is the equivalent to, <sighs> Just whatever, just relief. It's the equivalent to taking the bricks off. You can't move forward until you fully accept it where you are. And once you accept where you are, then to get on the other side of that and get on the side of actually loving where you are, not just accepting where you are, but loving where you are and loving what is, the quickest and easiest way to do that, the simplest way to do that is to focus on what you're grateful for. There's things in your life that you don't have. There's things in, you li in your life that you do have. When you put your energy on what you don't have, you're going to feel the ensuing feeling. When you put your energy, focus, and attention on what you do have, on what is going right, or you make a, de a deliberate attempt to put yourself in a state of gratitude, then you're gonna feel the ensuing feeling that comes along with that, which is a releasing of resistance. It'll feel very good, so, and it'll make it a lot easier for you to move on. You can't move past it until you've accepted what is, okay? And what this equates to is being willing to deal internally with the external conditions. We all wanna deal externally with the external conditions. We wanna go and change something outside of ourselves to correct something that's not right in our world. When all we need to do is realize that if something isn't right in our world or outside of us, then we have the ability to correct that or change that by changing the, what's going on internally because that's what's causing what's going on externally. And if all we do is spend our time going around trying to change what's going on externally, what's going on externally will change specifically, but vibrationally and emotionally, it'll never change. Our condition will change, our situation will change, but our emotional state will keep coming back to the same unfulfilled emotional state. And so you gotta be willing to change the way you look at things. You gotta be willing to change your beliefs and your perspectives. You gotta be willing to deal mentally with the external conditions. And all we're really talking about is, when we're talking about living happily ever, ever after or being happy, we're talking about an emotional state. We're talking about a mental state. Right? Most people will speak about the term unconditional love. And they'll speak about that term unconditional love from a perspective of loving someone else unconditionally. I love you unconditionally, or I don't love you unconditionally, or I love you conditionally, or however you want we want to say it. But we always look at that term loving conditionally outside of ourselves. When the true meaning of what it is to love conditionally is to be in the state of love 
unconditionally to be in the state of appreciation and gratitude regardless of what's going on unconditionally and that comes when you decide that I can deal with the external conditions internally because that's what I can control what's going on internally so you're gonna have to redefine your definition of a few things you're gonna have to redefine maybe your definition of happiness you might have to redefine your definition of success what is success to you is success in what you've accomplished is success in what you do is success in what you have have done is success in what you have or is success in how you feel is success in in, in, in in things outside of you or is success in being able to have enough control over your mind that you can think what you want to think regardless of what's going on around you how do you define happiness how do you define a problem right you know you can eliminate problems from your life simply by eliminating the word problem from your vocabulary absolutely simply by eliminating the word problem from your vocabulary. So you gotta be willing to change some things and redefine some things and look at some things a little bit differently. And when you're able to do that, it becomes a lot easier to accept what is and not fight against what is. And when you get yourself in that state of accepting what is, it's a lot easier to come to the understanding that, you know what, things don't happen to me. Life is not happening to me. Life is happening for me. And I love it.